going all the way back to Aristotle, classic, you know, rhetorician philosophy, <laughs> ethos, logos, pathos were the three methods classically of persuasion. One's credibility was ethos, mm -hmm. one's use of logic was logos, one's um, implementation of emotion was pathos. And they were a toolkit that you would use a, as a rhetorician to get persuasion. It's like sales, right? I think right now, <laughs> due to the environment we're in, in this rush to get content to market, to get attention, we're relying more on pathos. And, and, and a generation has been groomed to expect yeah. pathos to be the attention grabbing mechanism of choice and the mode of persuasion of choice. So logos and ethos have a very hard time competing in that environment and we could discuss how that's impacted. Well, I, I, want, I want to ask you about that. TV. So you said that, that, that the audience has been groomed to, to prefer pathos. Is, is, is that what you think has really happened or is it a, a matter of popular taste that, that people want what's emotional and what appeals to, well, to I would those make the instincts. case that in, a, in an attention starved economy um, where you're hyper competing for people's attention, um, pathos works because it's shorthand. Logos requires too much attention. <laughs> and we're living in an environment where a whole um, power dynamic is being revised.